Hi, everyone. This is Doug providing update number one on the Jesus Words Only Site Recovery Project. And uh, we're going to have great news that there's a temporary archive site that was set up by John, John Hurt. And we pray many blessings for him to do that. And I'm going to give you an update now. So uh, today it's September 8th, 2023 at 5 to 6 a.m. It's important the time. You'll see why Blake unveiled the new site. So he gave me the, the working site. It has no web address or it's not online in any form, but he's going to provide that to me. And uh, this is the person who I took your generous donations of $3,000 and I used it to hire him. He was normally going to would hire, he would do it for $4,000, but because I had uh, some discussion with him about the purpose of the site and the mission, and he had just recently been baptized, but not in a conventional church, but in sort of a when I when I talked to him, it was called an apostolic church, and it sounded very Anabaptist. And I said, "You're in an Anabaptist church, which is exactly in line with the theology of the system that we are following, which is essentially there's really no difference between what I'm saying and Karlstadt, a co-founder of the Reformation, said, uh, and was the joint co-founder of the Reformation with Luther, and then they separated because Karlstadt insisted that Paul is not on the same level as Jesus. And then Luther called him a new Judas and separated and had him exiled from uh, Wittenberg. But, all right. So it's clear to me that I God had brought me together with Blake. And I'm just so blessed that he is uh, inspired to help us and was willing to discount his charges by that amount. So a thousand dollars came from him discounting his fees. So isn't that a blessing? All right. So this is what he came up with uh, after uh, three days after I'd hired him. And uh, this was today. And uh, it looks pretty good. And it's uh, he has the old logo, Jesus Words Only. I like that. What's also clear to me is it has a very clean look. Uh, and, and, of course, a very visual impacting look when you see this. Uh, and then uh, maybe kind of gives people an inspiration that what's this uh, site about? And you could learn what the person's teaching through this book. And of course, remember, anybody who wants my books are always available, will be uh, available by PDF free for download. But if you want the book, people need a book. So some some people need a book. So that involves payment because it has costs associated with it. And that's defraying the cost of that. He has our old uh, topics, home, books, further reading, media, reviews, contact us, bookstore, topic index about the author newsletter. So everything is going to be reconstructed in that way. Now, I just want to show you the how this works. So instead of it being a very static single page that was relatively, you know, not undivided with uh, activities, he's literally created a whole page with a lot of activities. So right below that would be this about us. Our mission is to proclaim our Lord Jesus lesson, that he was the sole teacher and sole pastor, so on and so forth. Looks clean to me. Then he has this. Uh, I'm just giving you a little a piece of it. I, I didn't spread it out over the whole page here, but basically he's going to have the books for sale. I'll make sure there's always a PDF available for anyone who wants to download that. And that's uh, uh, not going to change. And he put in, he thought these were radio interviews. One was, but not the rest. So I've let him know that's not correct. So these are going to be uh, uh, articles uh, or recommended articles and things of that sort. And then you can load more view interviews, so we'll change that. He's going to upgrade that. I told him about that today after he sent this to me at 5.56 in the morning from Ohio. Anyway, and then this is how the bottom is going to look. And I thought this was so beautiful looking. The questions are right there, very simple, easy to collect information, and then the recommendations. So I recommended songs for people to enjoy, and so he has them over here. And also I had recommended works or books by others who support the same concepts of our ministry so they could get uh, more traction through this web page. So friends of ours uh, that we were trying to help uh, promote their books will now also be back on the recommended list on the primary page. So that would be great. And none are affiliated with me. So these are all just simply because these are good for you. And uh, so let me tell you what's happening other than that. So what happened later today, later that morning at 7, 18 a.m. And that's you'll see why I put the date now. This was just a weird thing. And listen to this, this is from John Hurt. Now, he was doing something completely unaware to me and he's trying to send emails to me. But something it was being blocked. He did. He couldn't get any email uh, communications with people who had a Gmail account. My these words only uh, studies uh, at gmail.com is a Gmail account, obviously. So he, there was no communication. So he had to literally create a new email address. So I'm not putting it up there and blocking it. Uh, 
for this reason. So, Doug, someone blocked all of our outgoing emails from our domains to all d- Gmail accounts. So this is a recent. And when I talked to his family over the phone, they said this has been going on since June, and they didn't figure it out until just recently. So literally, he's probably sent emails to dozens of people that never got them, and he didn't know why they weren't responding. Anyway, so here's what he said uh, that he'd originally written on the 5th, but again, I'm only getting it on the 8th, and that's in that time, that same three-day period, I'm working with Blake, and I can only imagine, what if I had gotten this notification ahead of time? I might have changed my mind or what I was doing. And I realize now I would have put on hold maybe something so beautiful as, I mean, this this site's going to be much more attractive to people, I think, in the end. And uh, we'll see. But this uh, this old site is very functional now. So let me tell you what, what John did. He says, Doug, here is the website I developed for you from the Wayback Machine at no charge or cost whatsoever. What an angel blessings from God Yahweh. It is my tithe for the Lord. So he is bl- going to be blessed immensely for this because he, wait to see the job he did. Alan didn't even scratch the surface of the website. It turns out you, I didn't even know that. I assumed, you know, he was a professional and he would have put everything up there. John actually has been a professional programmer. Uh, and now he has a second career in life, which he's doing very successfully online. Uh, and anyway, so he made it as https www.jesuswordsonly.org okay and just so you know he's going to give us that name for free uh but i've been advised that to do a website that you want to be searched by google a dot org will not be very uh much uh scanned and so they won't care about it and it won't go up high so if we want to get more attention, we have to use a .com. And so we've, we're working on the .coms. Anyway, it's a great resource for many people, and I'm glad to have a part in restoring it. Okay, and this is what it looks like. And it's just like it used to be, except you can see these lines. I think it's because it's sort of in a WordPress format being imposed on top of it. Um, now, he then says this. I lack about 200 pages having the www.jesuswordsonly.org site complete. Hopefully, it will be completed today. The 12420, so that was today. The 12420, an earlier Wayback version. So, Wayback is a thing online called the Wayback Machine, uh, and you can just type in any website and we'll give you a picture of what it is in the past. It's a nonprofit, so I don't even know who's in charge of it or what it's about, but it does a great job of keeping archives of primary portions of content on websites that actually have content. So he says on December 4, 2020 and earlier way back versions for the JesusWordsOnly.com site pulled back 2,251 files. So that's how many files of information were in there. Now get this. I also pulled up in the GitHub, GitHub.io site. That was Alan's site. It, now it was backed up for August 5, 2023. So it was August 5, 2023, just a month ago when there was no dispute between Alan and me, it had been backed up. This only brought back 211 files, less than 10% of what you had on the dot-com site. So that means he he did not restore 2,140 files, 2,140 files he hadn't restored. And you noticed and I noticed from the site he had recovered that there was a lot of broken links. Well, now they work. (laughs) Most of them work. And I'm going to show you an example. So this is far, far superior to that of Alan's site. So even though Alan had his own reasons why he destroyed the site and took it down, God blessed us because we didn't even know how uh, uh, impoverished his site was. It was not this whole site. For whatever reason, he didn't do the whole job. John, being a programmer and very dedicated to the cause of of, of promoting Jesus through this message, he did it thoroughly. And he worked, he, he actually, it sounds like, he worked tirelessly, tirelessly. So I want to ask you all to pray for John and his family, particularly he's being attacked. He's not sure who it is. He doesn't have a clue who it is, but he is being attacked and pray for this to be resolved. It's not been resolved yet that his uh, 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 he can get email from someone who's on Gmail through that. He was able to communicate with me, I suppose, on some other computer today. And this is what he did. Uh, so I want to show you how how well this works, where you will see the broken links are no longer broken. All right, so let me show you a couple of things here. First of all, it now has a total security uh, verified HTTPS 
I'm not sure the other one did, but uh, regardless, John set it up perfectly right with security. And then here's the web page. And now I know for a fact that this article here, Axe was written as part of a defense for Paul in an upcoming trial, was broken. And a lot of the links on this page were broken. And I'm going to assume that since John got 90% more uh, material, that, he, that all these bro breaks are gone. And uh, so if you click this button now, there's the article which was had disappeared and i was very uh, concerned about that but now uh the that web page backup from 2020 was very complete therefore we have no problems anymore with that so you'll find it fully functional i think i think what he told me is some of the links will not necessarily work to cross link between pages that are linking to other pages within this archive so that's something to be worked out over time or figured out, but we're going to hopefully just put all these pages again on a new site. It'll take, take some time. And then I'll take the effort to cross link the pages myself. I think I did that before, so I should be able to do it again. And so to re review again, we're going to have a very refreshed looking site, very modern looking site. Everybody tells me this has a much better impression on people. And uh, now the prior site had 28 million hits in about over 10, 11 years. So we're going to aim for at least that much and try to maybe even exceed that pattern. We'll see how long it'll take to build up to that level. Uh, but anyway, and it was ranked 140 in the world. So it was definitely very popular and people do care about this topic. So hopefully uh, with this site having a re renewed presence online, it will be basically come back to, to life and uh, better than it was. And I will say this. Uh, maybe my illness was for the better because ultimately this site I had, <laughs> sad to say, the old site, I just could, could take one last look at it, kind of looks like a site made in the 1990s, early 2000s, which is what exactly what it was. It doesn't have all the nice bells and whistles that people expect nowadays. And this new one is going to have all the bells and whistles and uh, fit in. And now that I have over 600 videos on YouTube since last June. So I've, I've done a few things that now we can maybe do a different kind of setup where people can find YouTube. See, it says media here. So media may be all these YouTubes nicely organized. So I'm, I'm in waiting to see what Blake will come up with that idea. So I think we've really been blessed and uh, we have found the right uh, programmer for purposes of uh, doing this. And um, and actually, all the advice I've received from uh, Heidi and others like Heidi and John uh, and David and others of you have all been helpful to confirm that this path that I'm taking with Blake is a good one. And we're going to have a fantastic site when it's all over that will serve the Lord Yahweh and our Savior, Jesus Yeshua. All right. God bless everybody. Take care. Ciao. Bye.